In this laboratory activity, we are going to investigate the mole. So when you look here, what you're going to see is it's going to tell you to select an element. Um, now, when we look at this, we can kind of tab over here and here, and you're going to see that there's some, some element numbers. So you're going to do this twice, but you do it just the first time, and then it'll have you do it again at the bottom. So we come here and we say, okay, I want element one, right? But if you have another one, you have to pick another one here and you're just going to hit load. And we want one mole and the one mole is already entered for you here. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to play it. And when we play it, what they're doing is they, they've teared the little weight dish that's there. And then they're going to pour um, metal on there. That's exactly one mole. And what you're going to do is you're going to record the mass here. So I would come here and say that's 27.0 grams. Then you need to come here and say, okay, look, here's two moles. And you load that. And now on the dish, they're going to put two moles that you're going to see. And so we're going to, it would be helpful if I were to start it. So we tear the dish. And there's the two moles, which is 54.0, okay? And then you're going to continue on to do this for three, four, and five, and plug those in here. Then what's going to happen is you're going to make a graph. So you're going to come here, but remember, right, um, it says the, the instructions are here. It says make a graph showing the number of moles of element one on the horizontal axis and the mass on the vertical axis. So when we come here, right, sorry, let me go back up here. On the horizontal axis, moles of element one, right, done, and then the massive element one there we go done and you should see see that as the green line there um the other mass is showing here but you can take that away there okay so that's how you can how you can figure that out and then it's going to ask you to um use the linear fit tool to find the slope like we've done before Right, and so when we come up here, um, we see curve fits, right, and it's already done with linear, and so you should be able to, um, when we look at that, see kind of the y equals mx plus b, where a is going to be the slope here, um, and so it's showing you a here, so that's your slope, so that's what you're looking for. Um, and so those are kind of the unique things. Now, now here's one of the things you're going to see. If you, if you click through all of this first, there's going to say there are student response grams of element one for every mole of element one. And it's waiting for you to put in this value because it's going to plug that in later. So if you try to work ahead, you're going to see that student response stuff. And all that means is you need to answer the questions above for them to to fill these in for you. So you've got to answer these in order, just FYI. So uh, I worked through this. I didn't see any other problems um, or anything that I felt like uh, would trip you up in any way, but that's just me. Um, so if there is something that you get in here and, and it looks weird or you have a question, please feel free to reach out um, and I'd be happy to help you. Have a great day.